barrel-aged beer time yet again here at DJ's BrewTube. And from whom do we have said barrel-aged beer? We have one from Care Brewing Company out of Drumshambo County, Leitrim, Ireland. And what beer do we have from them? We have their Khalil and Krita Ale. This is an Irish red ale. It's a limited serving. Clocks in at 6.5% ABV and 25 IBUs. This beer has been barrel-aged in what? Irish whiskey barrels for eight months. That's all I know about the beer. It's an Irish red ale, so... I'm not a big Red Ale fan, though I do like a well-made one, okay? So, you know, that be said, generally Red Ales aren't my thing. Brown Ales, I don't go cuckoo over those. But they're classic styles, and if they're made really well, they rock the heezy. So, you know what? <laughs> Time to stop flapping my gums, pop the top on this bad boy, and tell you what's up with Khalil and Krita Ale. Hell yes. <sighs> nice hiss off the top. Not obsessively collectible crowns. Just a plain one. Anywho, let's get it. Mmm. I can smell the Irish whiskey from here. All right, my, maybe my uh, attitude's changing a little bit here. You know what? If it's a good beer and it stands up and it's got good barrel aging, I don't care what style it is. If it's tasty, you know what? That's really what it comes down to, if it tastes good to you. Don't let people tell you, oh, because it's not an IPA or a sale or you're not cool. Fuck that. J drink what you like. Anywho, let's talk about the appearance. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous garnet color. All the way around. I can see through it, but I don't see a big image. I can see, like, the shadow of my hand, kind of. It's not cloudy or hazy. It's just a really dark garnet color. Probably look almost black to you on camera, but trust me, it's dark garnet. We've got a solid finger and a quarter of super tightly packed bubbles. A little bit soap sudsy at the top of the puck. When I swirl it, yeah, you know what? We're getting a little tiny bit of alcohol lakes and... I don't know, we may get some glass lacing off this. It looks like we might, but take a look at that beer. Maybe you can see the garnet color now that I stretch out, but you know what? It's pretty. But if it doesn't smell good, you know, that's a big part of your taste. So let's dive in for the aroma. Mm, big, big sweet malt. Has a barley wine sort of aroma to it. Dark fruits, raisins. Mm, lots of caramel, vanilla. I get a waft of apple Irish whiskey. Tons of vanilla, coffee, burnt brown sugar. Nice toffee note as well. But a lot, a lot of fruitiness to it. Mm, it smells pretty damn good. Not a hint of alcohol, save like a bit of that Irish whiskey spirit smell. I'm diving in. Let's go. Oh, this is Irish beer, so salon chihuahua. Mm, tasty. Nice glass lazy. Right up in front. I'm telling you, it's a nice, it's a well-made Irish red. It's not a mind blower. The style is not a mind blower style. It's thin, but it's not like super thin. It's kind of like medium thin. Irish reds aren't known to be big, you know, kind of uh, viscous kind of beers. Tasty. Right up in front, the first thing you get is caramel. After that, there's actually a bit of coffee in there. Maybe they, you know, by this color, they got some darker roast malts in there. Nice bit of coffee. Earthy hop still is alive in this beer. I'm getting a decent, you know, a little bit of that Irish whiskey taste. You can tell it's been aged in a spirit barrel by the flavor that's in there, and probably it's viscosity, too. The barrel probably cut that down a little bit. Irish whiskey isn't a big flavorful whiskey unless you're getting, like, the older age stuff or maybe single malt Irish whiskey. Generally, they're a blended product, so that's, you know, you got Irish, you got you have the single malt that's been cut down by, by neutral spirit, so, and second-use barrels. Anyway, that's why the, the flavor isn't huge, but nice vanilla note. That nice fruitiness that was in the aroma is in the flavor. This isn't like a like a barn buster kind of beer flavor wise, but you know what? It's good and it it tastes nice. It's like I don't know if I would seek this out again, but at Costco where I bought this, this cost three dollars and ninety nine cents. I'm not upset with that purchase price, and the quality of the beer is there. It's above. I would pay like say six ninety nine or seven ninety nine for this. It's that level beer, but that I got at a bargain basement price. Hell, why not? Let me take another taste, and we'll talk a little more about flavors, I guess, and a grade. As you drink it more, you can pick up that Irish whiskey. I wouldn't know that is Irish whiskey. I would think it was some sort of whiskey, unless it says on the bottle Irish whiskey barrel. But you can tell, like I said, it's been spirit barrel aged. Mm. Bit of char. The vanilla builds more as you drink it. And it has that nice earthy hop in the back end to balance out the sweetness, which is 
pretty good in this beer. Yes, red ale, Irish red. They they you know tend to go into that sweeter land. But anyway, tasty, tasty brew. Well made. I'm I'm like I said, I'm not upset with this purchase. So let's grade this beer. At time of recording, Beer Advocate is giving this 3.96 out of five. That's probably high B plus range of them going towards A minus land for sure. Um, Untapped is giving this 3.56 caps, which is definitely in their high B plus range. Let me take another taste here. You know what? As I drink it more, it's growing on me more. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go just into A- minus for what this is, for what it costs, and the flavor that it's bringing, and the fact that it's an elevation of a style that's usually kind of like humdrum and boring, just like a straight-up Irish red. You know what? I'm going to go A- minus in this. I think it's not a bad beer, and for the freaking bargain basement price at Costco, you know, you can't go wrong. So, have you had Khalil and Greta? Ale from our friends at Kara Brewing Company. If you have, let me know what you know because I like to quit pro quo and forth. Oh, I also like it a lot when you, you know, kind of think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. Witness, I'm getting done. Also, oh, if you could do me a big favor too and rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time joining us tonight, hit that sub button. Also, oh, if you could do a big, big favor too and smash that like button too. That would freaking rock. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of Khalil and Krita ale drinking love for you, and you know what's coming for you. That's right. <sighs> You're ready for it by now. Hmm, I'm sure. A big peace out!